Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Now as you can see, I have this lovely tent where we live and Virtual Dagwin has put that shed right next to us. He's got all of this field to go at. In fact, he's got the whole world to go at. But he's decided to go that close and now he has put the weirdest fence in ever. I'm sure this is in retaliation to me putting the planter in front of his doors. Um, the fence is okay-ish, but it's kind of odd because <laughs> there's no gate. And the concrete block is just hideous, but I'm sure he's sort of expecting me to reverse through here and block it again. No, I would never do that. Who do you think I am? Anyway, <laughs> we must get cracking. As you can see, I've loaded up a load more wood. We had loads of trees around here. I'm not going to touch any of the trees over there, because that's our nice sort of natural forest. But this area will have to be cleared anyway, because it's going to be our view over the lake. And the yard is probably going to extend down to here. And eventually the farmhouse might be here as well, so it's just going to be nice to have this all clear. As you can see, it is beautiful. So yeah, the reason for doing this now is just because I didn't want to do a load of video or time lapse of me just picking up trees. We did that in the whole of the last episode, so uh, yeah, did most of it off screen. Just put these final two in, and we can head off. It should be really good. We should get a lot of money here. And it's so good to have the John Deere 6300. The main use for the money which is produced from these particular logs is, I would have thought, going to be to buy the sugar beet harvester. Because that is £8,000. It is a new day, actually, so I can check the used machinery. Okay, nothing. Well, there is stuff, but not definitely not, nothing that we actually want to buy at the moment. The thing is, though, we also do need to buy the combine harvester. And I think the soybeans are going to be ready first, so it might be spent on that. It's one of the two harvests, I really don't know. Um, we do also have the stumps to, to grind out, but I really don't think they're a priority. I will grind them out, but it's just it doesn't make us any money. And we actually do need both the harvesters. Uh, this is heavy. This is probably the heaviest load I've done so far. It was only two full trees, I think, but they were very big trees. Anyway, I will see you up at the sawmill, and we can make some money, the first money of today. I'm going to guess at £7,800, and I will tip it first, because it's just much more likely to sell everything in one go. Looks very messy, but it's still uh, a better method. We've got one floater. Okay, pretty good. I was not too far off. A little bit too high. But there we go. Brilliant. And we do have enough to buy the harvester. But which one? Which one do we go for first? Right, a bit of an issue. My rule for this series is to never adjust the price which is set by the modder or giants or whoever made the uh, piece of machinery. And this is the machine that I had my eye on. In the credits it says that the author is called Wave, so thank you, Wave. Um... Yeah, biggest problem though is it's £32,000 plus I think at least 7000 for the header. And potentially would need a header trailer. Let's just see if there is a header trailer designed for it. I don't think so. We'd try and get by anyway without one. Uh, but let's just see here. Yeah, 7000 plus modifications. As you can see. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Now, luckily, we have the sugar beet, so we can sell the sugar beet to fund it. And also, it doesn't have to be that combine, but as you can see, it is still by far the cheapest, but it's nowhere near as cheap as the one which we used on Series 1. Um, yeah, there might be another one, potentially. So if anybody knows of one which is sort of Ten to twenty thousand pounds, which I know is ridiculously cheap for a combine harvester, and please do let me know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to buy the uh, the sugar beet harvester today because we might as well. We have nothing else to do. I think we're going to have to sleep as well because we need to progress these crops a bit. Uh, what should we do? I think I'm going to re yeah I'll reverse it on. It should fit, but I can't guarantee it. So if we just go into beet technology. £8,000 mini. No use machinery deal there. Yeah, it's pretty small. And this is the reason why I didn't go for 
a very large plot of sugar beet. It would have taken far too long to harvest. Because really what we want is not sugar beet or potatoes, although it would be more fun. Um, it is to do combinable crops, because that's how we can get the money in faster. But this is good, because it just gives us an option. It gives us another option to make money, instead of just selling trees continuously, which will soon get pretty boring. But of course, we, we can still sell trees to help out. Okay, that'll have to do, I think. Ooh, slippy slidey. There. You're having too much fun, PH Mini. Sugar beet harvester. I'm going to have to leave the weight here for now. Well, actually, I could throw it onto the trailer. We could get the forklift to help out, actually. Obviously, I have super strength, but I think we should probably only use that uh, if we're desperate or if... Yeah, there's no other way of doing something. And, of course, we can use it for trees. I'm actually quite interested to see if I can pick it up this way. If I just widen them... No. That didn't go to plan. Okay, well, maybe it did go to plan. <laughs> We've slipped underneath. We get to use it because we've just bought another machine from them. And in fact, they know we're going to be good customers. Now the tricky part. Actually, I could just widen them. Let it fall through the net. <laughs> there we go. Worked well. Okay, let's get back to the farm. And I think actually the best tractor to run this Harvestron is not the John Deere at all. It's our other one. But yeah, I think it's going to be time just to rest. Let the crops grow. They're fully fertilised. So it's all good. This is also a very good opportunity to say we are going to diversify. We're going to have greenhouses. I saw the mod where you can have uh, maple syrup production. Sounds great fun. We'll definitely do that at some point. And any other mods like that. Any kind of new productions. Because it's just interesting. It just breaks things up. And it's going to be good. But we need to get some money behind us first. Going through our tunnel of trees. Okay, so here we are back at the farm. Let's get the Kramer attached to it. I did strap it. Just remove those. And, um, oh, it's going again. The tractor's joining in. Everyone wants to go for a slippy slide. Oh, crikey, that's unexpected. So maybe we are going to have it on the John Deere after all. Wow. Well, that much it weighs. Well, at least we can get it out of the way. But I am concerned, very concerned, because it's... Well, the, the month is irrelevant, but it is November. Um, the, the soybeans are already ahead, considerably. When we move on another day or month, it's... The, the soybeans might even be ready, but the, the sugar beet is still going to be nowhere near. So, what do we do? We really want to have a combine. No renting. Ah, I don't know. But for now, we are going to move on. I think probably when we get into the summer, I'm going to set, well, close to the summer, I'm going to set the length of a month to 28 days. Just because we don't need to be going through the winter. Let's just see how this performs. I'm not expecting miracles. Crops don't grow overnight. So what do we have? Yeah, neither are ready. They have progressed. They are looking good. But yeah, not enough. So let's just take a look and see what the situation is. We've got so many growing stages, it's great. But we're probably only... Well, maybe just about halfway with the sugar beet. The soybeans, I would guess, are two-thirds of the way, maybe a, a three-quarters of the way. They're definitely not going to be ready today. Which does beg the question. Are we going to be working in that field at all in the next couple of episodes? I'm beginning to think that we're not. So I need to find a way, another way of making money.
Okay, I have a plan. Now I know I just said that we're not going to get any production until we have some money behind us, that is still true. However, just the greenhouses only, uh, they're cheaper than I thought, and it's going to be a good thing to do today. £3,000 for the smallest one. Don't think we'd go for that, I think we'd go for the medium. It's just a good all round one to have. £5,000 so we can fund that with trees. Uh, yes, although this area here is all within our block of land, we don't own it. We have no access to it, which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, even these ones here, because it would be nice to cut down these trees and put them, put the greenhouses here, but no, we can't do that. However, I have noticed there is a spot somewhere here which we have access to. I think it might be about here. Um, so I'll just show you. Just there. Plus we have a few trees which we can take down. It's this area here that we're not going to take down. But those, yeah, I think that would be a good way of funding the greenhouse. And the greenhouse can potentially go here if it's not too steep. So I've just made a quick cut through road. A very quick cut through road. I've just given it a quick test drive. There's no stumps. And as I said, dirt is free when we're doing landscaping. But if we're putting gravel, asphalt, or concrete or anything like that down, it would indeed incur a fee. We don't get that for free. So we just need to go and figure out exactly where this area is, which we have access to. See, that's such a good shortcut. We will also need to buy a small tanker. I am aware of one, which is low cost. I think it's about £2,000 and it can deliver a thousand litres every time, which is fine, because obviously the lake is literally just here. So my little area, and it really is a small area, I believe is just here, not very flat. We are gonna struggle to build on that. But yep, yeah, that is it. So we can have these trees if we wanted to. Yep. I am very tempted to, but I don't think the greenhouse should go there. Yeah, is it? It's a bit of a shame that we don't own this area here. But it's the way it is. Everything from the cliff down is public land. So I think, let's get chopping. And this is just the way Survivor Challenge goes. Uh, the intention was not to do any more trees today, but it's what we have to do. We're surviving. There's no alternative. Well, there is. We could just sit around. But I'm not going to do that. Not while we can uh, expand. Yes, this is going to be interesting. With the tree rolling. <laughs> oh dear. I'll load as I go. It'll be much easier. 6.2 meter spruce. 726 kilograms. That's big. Okay, so we have another load, pretty messy, but yeah, we just need to get it sold, and then we can uh, buy the greenhouse and put it somewhere, and a tanker, get some water pumped out of the lake, and then yeah, I think between this episode and the next episode, we're going to have to uh, pass some time so that we can get the sugar beets. We need to harvest the sugar beets, but that's the good thing about it. Once we have got a greenhouse is going to be generating produce uh, so yeah resting is not just a total waste because during the time of resting we're actually making something to sell 
I think some are must like us. We deliver a great deal of timber. Okay, unstrap it all, and we'll press the button. 7,837. Perfect. Very good. In fact, that sorts all of our problems for today, for the greenhouse work. Keeps us away from an empty bank account. Now, actually, yeah, I should probably keep this tractor here for now, because I do need to pick up a tanker. But I want to place the uh, the greenhouse first, and I really don't know where to put it. It's going to be an issue, but I'm sure I can figure it out. So, yeah, let's just go down to the uh, location. Yes, gives you an idea. <laughs> In fact, the, there is so much terrain editing fees that we can't afford it. So that is out of the question. I think it's going to have to go in the main yard, which is a bit unfortunate. Why can't I afford that? It's 5,000. That's weird. There we go. Um, yeah, so... I think the farmhouse will be more that side. These want to be as close to the entrance as possible. Uh, I don't think we need any access on the back. No, but we do need to access that tree stump. 3,000... Uh, yeah, so it's basically 300 and something pounds just to uh, make the ground level. Hopefully it doesn't do anything to the ground in front of us. Um, free mode. I didn't realise that was a thing. Right, okay, so I'm just trying it again and it still didn't really level the ground at all. So I think we're going to have to do it beforehand. Level or soften? Probably level. And then soften. Soften the uh, vicinity. That should be better. Definitely better. That tree stump is going to be problematic. Okay, so as long as we haven't got any floaters, how's it looking? Looking pretty good, actually. That's floating, but that's going to be uh, mulched. Yes, actually, that's really good. And it's got enough sunshine. So all I need to do now is get some water. So I will go and enable the mod. I think it's £2,000. And I know for a fact that the capacity is 1,000 litres, which is fine. Okay, there we go. So it is, it's £2,000. And it's got 1,000 litre capacity. And we have many different grey options. All of which seem to be inclusive in the price. That's, that's nice that you can uh, choose all these different variances. Galvanise is pretty good, but it's not... It doesn't look quite as good as that for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe just because it's in here. In the store. I'll go for the lighter galvanised. So yeah, purchase. And if we tab back to the John Deere, you can see it is right there. So I'm going to tell it separately. It's not going to fit on the trailer. Shouldn't have any problems at all pulling this up the hill. Actually, we don't really need this bucket on, so we could take the bucket off in the yard. And then I suppose the question is, which product, or which crop, do we grow? I've done a lot of lettuce on my other Let's Plays. Um, and lettuce always used to be the best choice because the other pallets were really small, but they've changed that. So maybe... Tomatoes. In series one, with the other greenhouses, we had to deliver manure, which was quite good. We did have to do it quite often, so it was a job that always had to be kept on top of. But now it's just a case of delivering water. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's nice that you do have to deliver the fertilizer as well. Yes, this yard will be properly leveled when we actually construct it properly. It will also probably be gravel or concrete. And also I'll be able to figure out the best way to go, but I think at the moment this is the best way to go. 
because it's just like a sheer drop. It's a cliff. We can't really just cut across. I suppose we could go around there. Um, but I don't own it, so I can't put a track in. But really, when you think about it, it's not far to go. And if we eventually had a bigger tanker, it would just be nothing. Completely effortless. <laughs> just get like 10,000 litres every 10 episodes. And it looks like we can pull it up the hill with a fair amount of speed. So this is good. Are those lights or reflectors? I think they're reflectors. Yeah. I think it's like a homemade tanker. Looks to be, but it's good. And as we chose the galvanised option, uh, yeah, it should last a very, very long time. I like that cut through. If we had to go all the way around, it would be very slow doing this. Yeah, stump grinder. Stump grinder needed. So it's the first 1,000 litres, enough to start the production. The sooner the better. Yeah, tomatoes. I think so, yeah, definitely. We're going to store. Activate. They're now planted. And as you can see, that has probably filled it up about uh, a tenth. Potentially. So I'm going to go backwards and forwards many times now delivering water but it's just so good to see that we have another source of income Okay, you get the idea with that. We are less than half full, so I'm now going to continue getting it as full as possible. And we already have 20 litres of tomatoes, pretty good. The first pallet was spawned at a thousand. I think we're almost there. I've also noticed we have rain in the forecast. Just want to appreciate this view again. It's a shame we don't own it, and it's also actually, if you think about it, a bit of a shame that we can't fish. Because I'm sure there'll be fish in here, and that'd be a way of making money. Fish farming? Yeah, it just goes to show how diverse it can be. Um, yeah, I don't know if there is a mod actually. I don't think there is. But there has been in the past. Hopefully in the next episode, as I said, we'll be harvesting I think I will rest in this episode though just so we can see the progress see how close to ready to harvest the sugar beet is going to be I would really expect the soybeans to be ready right is this going to fill it nope not quite we must be getting oh it's so close 99 litres so we'll call it a day for the uh, the greenhouse there but it's all looking so good. I'm sure we can make a fair amount of money there in the future. Uh, let's go to bed. And we'll see what this field looks like in the morning. Yeah, I'm sure those soybeans will be ready. Okay, so it's not raining. It's overcast with sunshine in the forecast. 
And yeah, the soybeans, look at that. I think that's one stage off uh, ready. Let's just see. Oh. Yeah, so we might, I think we have actually produced a pallet. Let's just take a look here. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> actually, I don't think it is going to be ready today. So probably two days at least for the sugar beet. Which means we need to make a lot of money fast to be able to afford the combine harvester. And yes, we do have a pallet of tomatoes. So we might be able to sell it in the next episode. Let's check the price currently. We can't really sit around on this series, though. Doesn't look too bad. In fact, very good timing. It is the best month. Wow, <laughs> that's really good timing. Okay, so we have at least one pallet of tomatoes to sell. It's only going to bring in £1,700, but it's a start. Anyway, we're going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.